CrazyMikesApps.com with an iPhone app video demo for Life Topics. This feature-rich productivity app has received a big update, including more sync options, app theme customization, an improved dashboard, and much more. As we get into the application, that's a look at the quick launch feature. It pulls up, in this case, a quick ad. Some of the biggest changes have been to the sync settings you can see here, and here's what it looks like when I open up the app. I slid to the left to get a full screen of my agenda. Top right is calendar adjustments for calendars to be included, and you can also tap on any of the items in your agenda to go down, change them, associate them, and add them. Now on the left side, all the tabs, my calendar, hot list, my topics, core part of the application, Here's where all of the major functionality is. Recent inboxes, my contacts, you have near me for things that you've tagged that are near you. My apps, you can launch other apps in here. And then Engage Settings and Help Center, tons of stuff that'll help you and learn how to use this app. Now here is My Topics. This is some of the new functionality. You can actually change what you want to show and what you don't want to show. Just swipe it off, you can reorder them. They've been colored now, so that distinguishes them apart from each other. Now, getting help in any section is just a light bulb tap away. Anywhere you see a light bulb in the top center of the screen, when you tap on it, you're going to get a tutorial for that section, and they're very well done and easy to understand. Now, jumping into some more of the new features, on the left bottom, tap on I, and you can reorder all of the tabs for the functionality in this application. Another big change is the color scheme. Tap on My Settings, Settings, My Settings, and we can go in there and change the main color and the accent color. I'm going to switch up to Crazy Mike's colors, which are hot orange and black. It's going to give me a more familiar theme for my Life Topics app. When you get out, you can see that. The drawing tools have been updated and they've had more features added to them as far as colors and other options, which improves the functionality of the drawing tool. Now we're going to head into one of the bigger updates, which is the syncing options for this application. It's iOS Universal, so it works on the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. You can now sync through Dropbox across all devices using the new sync option. You can back up through email, and there's some cloud sync. Notice all of the different syncing services you can use. Here's a look at some of the features in this feature-rich getting things done application. Now we've done another iPad app video demo for Life Topics. I'm going to include that in the annotation for this video so you can click on that to learn more about the application as far as how to add things and items like that. The quick launch is great. It allows you to add things quickly, to log things quickly, to get a quick view of all of your information, search things, and you can also put the passcode lock on it. Topic items are there. Again, this app has a lot and can take care of multiple apps all in one, and it's got a really functional calendar that can sync with it syncs with my exchange calendar notes reminders and it does it both ways so it's very useful for me as you can see life topics is a very feature rich getting things done app with a lot of functionality you can check this out in the itunes app store until next time crazy mike saying see ya